Hello. It's quarter to two in the morning. Quarter to two. Friday. It's three degrees. I can't see a lot. I'm heading north. I'm just coming out of Sutton Scotney. I didn't get to where I wanted to get to After last one night. Mile, keep right. I'm fully freighted. It's two degrees. Temperature's dropped. Come on, girl. I'm still in my shorts. Who wants to be a trucker? Hello. Sunrise. Five seventeen now. Good sky. Still been solid. Three and a half hours of driving. Going to be. I'm going to try and go into Woodall Services, which is just up here, because it saved me five ten minutes. But if there's nothing in there, I'm going straight to uh, Stockyard. If I don't, it'll be straight through back out the other side, eh? Um, I'm not messing around. So if I can drive straight into a bay, I'll drive straight in, but if I've got to faff around for a few minutes trying to get in somewhere, then uh, I'll go to uh, the stockyard because that's just easier. This guy's looking good. Bit of the M1 was shut, so we had a bit of a detour onto the 8th round by Leicester, not for Leicester. So I had a hook onto the. <coughs> get onto the A50 and then go up a junction. Averaging 8 mile to the gallon. It's 11 yesterday, 8 today. So she's a bit thirsty. So she's thirsty on fuel. I'll be alright going back then. eventful night. No one tried, fairies didn't turn up, so we're good. I slept well. I'm going to be getting my head down for half an hour in a minute or two though. Okay, we've got a mile to go. Let's go in and have a look. I can't remember the layout.
Close up, flushed in. There you go. So I've got 139 miles to go. Should get there. Just after 9 o'clock. See what we got in here. Don't hold out too much hope. Truck's just parking straight in there now. Good. There's people all over the place. Actually, there's one here. I'll just turn off me. Uh, Beepers going back. Turn right, M one. Oh, do us. Oh, perfect. Speak to you all in a bit. Hello. Right. Leaving Woodall. Plenty of spaces now. No truck fuel, look. Bumps in the road. Jeez. Saved a few minutes. be now a straightforward run unless we blood of explodes it should be a straightforward run up to uh, north of Newcastle now six thirteen a fresh pot of coffee sun shining just 
about to come off the M1 onto the M18. And away we go. There you go. So yeah, all good. I had a half hour snooze, which has refreshed me. That's all you need, half hour. That's all I need. Tired, like? Mm. <coughs> well, I'm tired. I'm not tired. Show me a truck that isn't tired. And I show you a liar. Good sky. Hopefully it'll be nice today. I don't know what the weather forecast is due to do, but uh, yeah. So we shouldn't be too late. <coughs> so it was a bit of a mission impossible. That looks like. Unless there's some hold up somewhere, we should be uh, pretty much there. So yeah, happy with that. Successful day so far. So I'll speak to you all later on because it's not a lot to see along here. I'll get on to the uh, M18 and then, uh, like I say, A1 head north and uh, see where we end up. So I'll speak to you all later. Hello, time now 8.46. Uh, Twenty-three miles to go. It's warmed up to seven degrees. I'm still in my shorts. We're on the A1M northbound, just south of Sunderland. Yeah, 23 miles to go, something like that, half an hour. So we had a, a time of 9 o'clock, and it's going to be about half past 9. So all in all, I'm, I'm more than happy with that, that's alright, job done as far as I'm concerned. A big ask. And, uh, considering we had um, on the way up, the M1 was shut, so I had to divert through uh, down onto the A50 and then back up onto the M1. And then the A1M, the road that I'm on now, has been slow, uh, stationary at one point, but slow in a couple of places. Two miles, and it's only quarter to nine. We've done about just over eight hours of eight hours working. Some people just going to work. Sunshine up here, lovely. Been looking at the hedges and everything. It's not quite as green as down south. It's just a little bit behind it. Still, it's in bud. There's a few green, green leaves on the trees, but not quite the same. It's a little bit different. Acropolis over on the hill over there. So if 
anyone knows exactly where I am right now, because I don't, Woodstone Village, right? Woodstone Village is to my right, apparently. And if you go straight over to the right, east, there's like this big, like, it just looks like the, I'm going to have to have a Google map it. have to Google it and see what it is. <clears throat> see if I can remember to do it. That's the trouble. I see it every time I come up here and then forget about it. Lots of primroses on the banks. It's beautiful. So I like it, primrose. Take a good couple of hours to get this box emptied. Because it's heavy. Heavy boxes tend to take a bit of time. Just purely because they've got to be manhandled out. I don't reckon, I doubt that's on pallets. I very much doubt that it's all on pallets. Around Sunderland's to my right, we scoop round over the Tyne. We don't go the Tyne Bridge or Tunnel or whatever it is. We scoop round on the A1. And um, sort of get up level with Whitney Bay on the A1 and turn left. So really I'm just using Newcastle as a point of reference. One thing I have noticed with her being uh, fully freighted that she drinks that blue. Normally she's quite frugal. But, uh... She's drinking it. So anyway, I'll put you on when I come off the A1 and I'll, uh, as I go into where I'm going to the industrial estate, I'll speak to you all later. Hello, if you just look sort of straight ahead of you, just to the right, the Angela North just poking her head up over the trees. She stands out better today. Although she's being hidden by the trees now. And they're all in uh, leaf. You, all you're going to do is, well, you ain't going to see her now. So the trees have grown. I don't know how long she's been up. A fair few years, I think. I think I've spoken about this before, but trees are sort of masking her. I don't know whether you'll get a better view of her as I come across now. She's got the sunshine on her so there you go. It's probably about the best view you're going to have. If you can see that indeed. There you go. I think she's looking this way. Yeah, I think so. I think she looks a bit eerie to be honest with you, you know what I mean, it's like, uh, I don't know. So anyway, I'll speak to you in a bit. Hello, I don't know if you can see down there, just going over the time. Seven and a half miles.
not eels. Considering we're fully freighted, isn't too bad, I really. Go to Pontiel and Rangers, for those of you that know. That's where we learned to fire the uh, 7.62mm self loading rifle, 9mm submachine gun, and a 9mm Browning pistol. a particularly good shot, just enough to scrape by. <laughs> Seventy nine. After half a mile, take the exit, a one thousand and fifty six, towards Killingworth, then cross the roundabout. 
roundabout and take the third exit towards Wydeven. Oh, where? Take the exit, then Wide cross open. the roundabout and take the third exit. Okay. Stay in this lane. Turn on now, otherwise. Oh, that's a nasty bit of road. After a quarter of a mile, cross the roundabout and take the third exit on 1056 towards Wydeville. Uh, let's go in. Probably in completely the wrong lane, but I don't know. Not much traffic about. Been here before. the roundabout and take the third exit a 1056 towards wide open I think I could do with being in that left-hand lane though I'll be slow enough off the mark that everyone should uh, overtake me and mind you it's fairly busy <laughs> I don't know let's find out let's go around here Down here before. After 600 feet, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, then bear left. Yeah, I've been here before. Don't remember it though. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, then bear left. Been around here before, though. After 900 feet, bear left, B1318, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. We're going left here. Bear left, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. After 300 feet, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, B1318. Oh, there's no longer a roundabout here. Some traffic lights in.
off to 900 feet, turn left, Storks Road. Been here before. I've been down this road, but I don't think I've turned left here. Don't think. Oh, I don't know. Excuse me. Well, we're not far away. A mile. That's got to be the oldest paper boy around, isn't it? That, that lad down there. heavy on wet roads, she doesn't like it. After 600 feet, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Storks Road, then bear right, Darrell Street. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit, then bear right. Or have I just come in a different way? normally come in. <laughs> Get on the scooter was having After it away then. Eh? Feet, bear right, Darrell Street, then take the second left. What? Bear right, no. then take the second left. Feet, turn left, then turn right. Turn left, then turn right. Industrial Estate. Right, I'll speak to you all in a minute. Some more, let's see ya. Hello. Tipped about an hour and a half. Nice lads in there, because it's gold, helped out, got me in. It was a bit of a tricky reverse in, but we got it in with only the one shunt, it was like into a narrow gateway. Had a Turn spinner right, around to start off with. Main, yeah. Bear left, Darrell Street. Stop. 
stop in there. He is. After 600 feet, bear left. Bear left. No bears involved. Bear left, Darrell Street. Let's just stand here. Under the A1. After 700 feet, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, Storks Road. Then, at the end of the road, turn right. Wide open. <laughs> cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Then, at the end of the road, turn right. I knew a girl like that once. Anyway, moving on swiftly. <laughs> at the end of the road, turn right, B1318, Park View. Great North Road. And that go all the way down to London. The old London town. Great North Road. Travellers rest there. You all just Gone everywhere. Thank you very much. Oh, kitty winks. Get back. Uh, I always hate that. You never know, do you? After 900 feet, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, B1318. No, this is where there used to be a roundabout, but it's not a roundabout anymore. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. There we go, right here. After a quarter of a mile, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, a 1056 rotary way. So it used to be another roundabout, but it's not a roundabout. Rotary Way. They won. That's what we're after. Go 
right on the roundabout and take the third exit, a 1056 Rotary Way. After 600 feet, go left on the roundabout and take the second exit, A1, towards the south. I'll do that. Southbound. Go left on the roundabout and take the second exit. Come on, green light, green light. Wakey, wakey. One southbound. What is it? Fifty along here? I think it might be. much to see along here. Um, a nice little ride though. Still undecided as to where I'm going to stop. Done seven hours of driving so far. So technically I could go for another two. Take me over that to get down to uh, I reckon it'll be Lehman Bar. Day. I think it's. Uh, I saw on the. I saw on Facebook there was a, a, a caravan uh, on a campsite down near Livington. Actually, got blown over. There was nobody in it, thankfully, but it was on site. The caravan got blown over in the wind. Bloody hell! Dickhead in the red car. Not the the second one. Not the not the uh, Tesla. The other little Toyota. Yeah, we've got a motorbike. Was patched up. Didn't say. Didn't see what the. Uh, 
see what the patch said then. Well, it's nice to be empty. Slow traffic on A1, traffic jam ahead, between Norwood Road and Rockcliffe Way, six minutes delay. Okay, let's see what happens here. It could be the decider whether I... Uh... Could be a decider as to whether I... Stop at Leeming Bar or push on the Weatherby. Hold A1. Down in towards the Tyne here. Is it the Tyne? Is there such thing as the Tyne Valley? I don't know. There we go, going over the River Tyne. Why, hey? Yeah, it's down in there somewhere. It's been a good few hours in Newcastle. This is where I joined, this is where I joined up. A place called Houston, which isn't too far away from here. See that little vent out is holding us up again. So I remember coming up here on the train, being greeted at Newcastle uh, Station by Sergeant Hughes and Corporal Taylor. Sergeant Hughes has unfortunately died of cancer a few years back. He is from Wrexham. Uh, Billy Taylor, I'm friends with him on Facebook, he lives in Nottingham. <laughs> oh Bill. Yeah, they they moulded us into uh, they took took us in as boys and we were boys. I was only I was only just turned well, I hadn't even turned sixteen. I joined up at fifteen. I joined up in July the sixth and my birthday's July the eighteenth. So I was still fifteen. And they turned us from young boys into, I like to say men, but I don't even think we were men. But they certainly turned us into something, something pretty special. There was three troops on our intake and there was intense rivalry between the three. A lot of us are still mates today from the different troops. And we ended up going to Germany and served together and kept crossing paths and like I say still friends with some of them today. And uh, yeah we ended up as champions troop troop. Best out of the three. Mighty White Spear. And it was either 52 or 54, I can never remember, 52 or 54, and I think 26 of us uh, finished. 26 of us passed off, which is a 
fairly high attrition rate. But it was a tough nine months, you know. One for everyone. I'd like to see how youngsters would get on with that today, to be honest with you. I know every generation is, oh, and why when I was in it was really hard. Yeah, I, yeah, you know, and yeah, it was. But I look at some of these boys today, and they don't even put a crease in their trousers. What's all that about? I get over here, what I think I can. The old Metro Centre. We used to catch a bus in on a Saturday. Not every Saturday, but um, like once a month, we used to catch the bus in. And then catch the last bus back to get back to camp about 8, 9 o'clock at night. We used to have a disco on a Saturday night and the local, <laughs> the local scrubbers used to come up. <laughs> oh my word. Trying to bag a squaddy. After 1.2 miles, take the exit, A1, towards Team Valley. Team, Toyne, isn't it? Toyne. feel really close to these uh, bridge stanchions. Not these ones. It's not rolling around somewhere. A1 towards Team Valley, then go left on the roundabout no. and take the first exit, B601. No, 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 no. Not doing it, not doing it, not doing it, not doing it. After 700 feet, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, B601, towards Team Valley. I know we're going to hit traffic, but it's only for a very short period of time. towards the south for six miles. Exactly the same amount of time. So we see a bit of traffic now. What it wanted me to do was, there's a road that goes all the way down through an industrial estate. And they go all the way through industrial estate and then pop out the other end. Uh, I couldn't see the, couldn't see the sense in that. I think I need to be in the right hand lane. I do. Let me in.
bloody starving. I've had two tangerines and a and a spicy sausage. Right, well this is boring for you, so I'll speak to you later. Slow traffic on A1, M, E15, traffic jam ahead, between B1224 A scores approach and A659 more end, two minutes delay. A quarter of animals on the road. Uh, bears or llamas, take your pick. So we're going to go into Lehman Bar Services, never been in here before. I see no animals though. Not that I want to see any. Not on a motorway. Eight and a half hours of driving. That'll do me. is set up for Weatherby. So she's going to throw a fit in a minute when I come off. Junction 51 I will. Bit of traffic going through Newcastle. And uh, ran by the uh, Angel of Death. Angel of Death. Angel of the North. Angel of Death, I'm sure all the Geordies are going, what? Angel of Death. So I've never bothered going into this truck stop before, so uh, I've either made me way to Weatherby or the barn, which is the one I've just passed it. Which is a complete and total shithole, but it's cheap and it's normal. I've never had a, I've always had a good night in there, good and quiet night, so. But we're going to go here, because there's a diner. I want something to eat. All singing, all dancing. Where are these animals? They should be more specific. They can't be along here somewhere, surely. area. That does look like there was a truck park in there. Now, whenever I've gone by it's always full of trucks. I'll find out in a minute. here. Shame it's right next to the road. Big old house. but well, not that big actually. Now 
it's starting to rain. Now I've just smudged the windscreen. Johnny Garth truck stop. Snap as well. Mm-hmm. 
la differenza che è Mr. Indecisive, isn't it? No, I do. Hopefully, no one will come anywhere near me. Turn the engine off, see if I can hear any fidges running. No, good. Right, I'll speak to you all later. I'm stopping here.